Time now in Antalya, Turkey, at the first stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup for the Recurve Mixed Team Gold Medal Match. And it's another mouth-watering lineup. Let's go down to the range to meet the athletes. All target number one, representing Chinese Taipei, Kiu Yi Chi. Tan Ki Chun. All target number two, representing United States of America, Casey Koppel. And Randy Elson. And the line judge for matches, Lena Cesar. Well, here we go. The last of our matches in this first live session of two today. The Recurve Mixed Team Gold Medal match. And it's a really intriguing lineup, Chef. I'm not going to spoil the show. You, you tell us why. Well, Chinese Taipei uh, have really high scoring archers. Uh, they're always really good in mixed team. Um, but then on the US side of things, uh, we've got Brady Ellison, who is arguably one of the best archers, if not the best recurve archer ever. Um, and Casey Caulfield, who is somewhat of a prodigy in, in archery as well. So this can go either way, I feel. Yeah, Caulfield claimed her first ever stage gold medal in the mixed team with Brady Ellison. But Brady is pretty honest about his form in the mixed team competition. Feels like he's playing nine. second fiddle, but starts with a nine. A good sighter. Yeah, historically, Brady hasn't been uh, as high scoring in mixed team as he has in, the, for instance, team or individual. So um, often he relies on, on Casey to shoot very many points or another female archer. Uh, but, I mean, Brady not shooting at his best is still probably better than 99% still pretty good <laughs> yeah <laughs> team silver at London 2012 followed that up in Rio yeah. with a team silver and the individual bronze for Ellison and here Tang Chi Chun starting off with a seven yeah and and he is adjusting a side but not really as much as you would uh, if you were certain that that seven was due to side setting Nine. But I'm getting the feel just by, by looking at the target and looking at the flags that there is a little bit more wind than uh, it seems if you look at the archers on the line because just around the venue you can see everything wavering about but the venue itself doesn't show much. Seven. Brady looking a little surprised there. Yeah, although... The I mean, that wasn't the greatest shot, was it? You could see that there was a bit of lack of tension in the release and a bit of a delay. Hey. And I think it might have to do with uh, with that wind that we were talking about earlier. The it's being the different down at the other end of the range. Yeah, and also if there is a little bit of wind on your bow end and it suddenly drops away, then hey. you're more prone to, you know, drifting off to the right. Um, in his case. Yeah, Tank with an eight. And it appears, at least to us, that there's a little bit of wind there, but the 10 was what was required for the set points. And that is exactly what Chu Yi Ching has done. But uh, a curious start from the pair of the arrows flying in different directions as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting to see. Uh, we saw a similar thing in the previous match where uh, target one is mostly hitting left stray arrows and target two is hitting them on the right. So I wonder if there's a bit of a difference there on the line uh, with the, the wind coming over the stands and uh, maybe affecting the one target in a different manner than the other. Yeah, so just looking at her, looking at her bow there, uh, 
rather than the rest of the shot. Uh, you could see right before the clicker went, uh, there was a little bit of a movement to the right, and I think she tried to correct for it, but just couldn't quite get it far enough out to the left again. Palpable tension in the American camp, that's for sure. Not the highest scoring set, but uh, it's gone to Chinese Taipei. So Brady Ellison for the USA steps up to the shooting line for set number two. His release today, so far, uh, I mean, I've seen three arrows now, but he, he's plucking the string a bit more than maybe what I'm used to seeing. Um. That's a bit of a better shot from Casey there. Um, uh, Brady, uh, in his, I think, best season ever in 2019, could get away with a lot, uh, also plucking the string or uh, like having a forwards release and still hitting a low ten. And, and um, but I feel like he's maybe not quite back at that same, uh, yeah, well, dominating level of uh, of shooting, um, and is not really getting away with the same bad shots that he was getting away with then. Um, I do believe that he is getting back into that same shape uh, now that he's settling down a bit in his new place where, he's li uh, where he lives. Um, so he can, I, I think we can expect more of him this season. all the time used there but a 38 is the result Chinese Taipei need two tens to draw the set so with that eight uh, the set is out of reach for Chinese Taipei and then we'll go to the US tying them up and effectively giving them the momentum if uh, if that's ever a thing yeah, both moving up in terms of uh, their scores, but it's a more dramatic change for the USA, shooting a 38, very good score. Uh, you're talking about Brady in his heyday, 2019 being his most successful year, but there's just one thing missing from that trophy cabinet, isn't there? And that's perhaps why he's still plucking away. Yeah, well, it, if it is even that one thing, I feel like he also just has a love for archery and, and that's what's also keeping him in the sport. But I think the one thing you're referring to is this gold medal at the Olympics because it's the one thing that he doesn't have. Uh, he's a world champion, he has World Cup finals. He, I mean, he has a very well-filled uh, prize cabinet, but um, yeah, the Olympic gold medal is what eludes him. Yeah, he's got other Olympic medals, but uh, I'm pretty sure that um, you don't have to go too far to the back of his mind to dig out that desire for gold in Paris. All square, the USA and Chinese Taipei. And as Chef Van Berger said, the momentum has very much switched over to Team USA. Two apiece, set number three. Brady Ellison up onto the shooting line for the USA. And what's interesting to note about the US team here is Brady will get off the line here uh, and he will have something to say to Casey about what he noticed. So you can see him immediately communicating to her where he's aimed, why it's hit at the place it's hit. Um, and then she knows what to do with her shot. And I think that's one of the key things in, in mixed team, but also in team in general. You need to communicate. Um, if you don't communicate, um, you're not a team. You're just standing there as two separate archers, two individuals. Um, and I think if you want to make a difference in a mixed team match, you need to communicate, and you need to communicate in a very clear manner. Nine. 
That's one of those bad shots that, that I was mentioning before uh, that he knows how to get away with. So the same situation as previous set. Uh, Chinese Taipei has to shoot two tens if they want to even tie this set. Yeah, second 38 for the USA. In the previous set, he shot a right eight. Oh, no, he's just out, which is a pity for him. Good finish from Chu Yiching. But a 37 means the set points go to the USA for the second consecutive set. Chef, we've discussed this match before, and I said I wasn't really entirely sure what to make of it. Were Chinese Taipei going to run away from the Americans? Uh, but by their standards here, they perhaps underperformed. Yeah, I think they're, um, they're still, or maybe not anymore, but in the beginning of the match they were looking to, you know, get a hold of the wind a little bit and get a hold of the, the venue. Um, and I feel like the USA just uh, did that a bit a bit quicker than the Chinese Taipei did. Yeah, slow start from both of them. But I'm, I'm talking about the Chinese Taipei team as a whole in terms of their results here in Antalya. Perhaps not up to what they were expecting. Yeah, I think you're correct there. Um, I think they have more class than what they've been showing this uh, this World Cup. Um, but it might also be a good inspiration to work even harder to, uh, towards the Shanghai World Cup that's coming up. Yeah, not so far for them to travel for Shanghai, but does that put a bit of added pressure on this uh, Chinese Taipei team? It might, yeah, because they haven't had the amount of medals that they were maybe hoping for, so they might as well try to make it a gold one. 4-2 down here, so Chinese Taipei for the first time step up to the shooting line to begin this set. Beautiful shot as well. Where's this come from? <laughs> Just when they needed it, they put down two tens and pressure switches over to the USA. Nine. Not a bad shot. Judging by where his bow arm went, I think he knew that was it had the chance to go top right, but See now, they're not far out of the 10, so they're shooting good shots, but they are trailing by two points. And it's a similar situation as last set where the Chinese Taipei team had an arrow that was one millimeter out and that made the difference for them losing the set. So it's a very interesting sport in that regard where uh, you don't even have to be much worse to uh, make it look much worse on the scorecard. That leaves the door open when perhaps it could have been firmly shut. Yeah, so the US team needs a 10 and a 9 here to tie this set and then therefore win this match. <laughs> Pressure is on Casey Calfold here. A nine to level the scores in the set and get the single point they need for gold in Antalya. Nine. 
And she's put it into the correct spot for a 37, tying up with Chinese Taipei, but with a 4-2 lead going into that fourth set, one point was enough, and the USA's Casey Calfold and Brady Ellison take gold here in Antalya. It was a slow start from both teams, but the USA just came good quicker. Yeah, they, they adjusted quicker and then they stayed on target for longer. So uh, Chinese Taipei had a couple moments where they had the chance to get some, some set points, um, but they just couldn't capitalize on them. And I think that's what made the difference in this match. So confirmation then that uh, Casey Cowfold, just 19 years old, teaming up with Brady Ellison for the USA, have taken the gold in the recurve mixed team competition. Chinese Taipei having to settle for the silver medal with uh, Chu Yiching and Tang Chichun.